From Nike to Supreme to Bape and many popular clothing brands, reselling otherwise known as flipping has had a huge surge of popularity this last decade. What drives this new culture? High demand, low quantity, and great business psychology tactics. Let me explain. From the times of wearing Echo, to the times of wearing Lacoste polos, to the times of wearing G-Unit t-shirts, we have seen many fashion phases come and go, but if there's one thing for sure, pop culture has a huge influence on the fashion trends. In the year 2018, brands like Nike, Supreme, and Adidas are huge, being worn by people of all kinds, spanning from your average Joe to Justin Bieber. People will spend so much money on these clothes, but why? Maybe it's because Nike will only release 100 pairs of the sneakers you really wanted. When there's a limited amount of quantity, there is a high demand and people will spend thousands. But where does flipping come into place? Let's say Supreme for example. Their iconic box logo hoodie, retail price at 158. They only released 2,000 of them. That's not a lot. Well, you could go around and wear it and show it off or you can resell it. Waiting on a line two to three hours to buy a hoodie for retail price of 158, with tax comes out to around 172. From there, you can go on websites like StockX and Grail to authenticate it and resell it for guess how much? A whopping 650 to 1200 dollars. Flipping it at 1200 dollars is almost a 700 percent revenue return. That's incredible considering your only obstacle is waiting on line and dealing with people for a couple of hours. Hey, I'm looking to buy a chair today. Oh, hello! You come to just the right spot. Okay. Let me show you. Look, Ooh. this one, it's very nice okay. and old and dusty and orange. Okay. And with a really great stain right there, you know? And this is all very nicely for $20. I like it. I like it. Right? And then we have this one, which is the same exact chair from a bathing ape Ooh. for a whopping $1,200. I can flip that. Oh, I'll take this one. Really? Yeah. Sold! The flipping culture is quite strong right now. With the demanding market and dedicated resellers, some people use this as their main source of income, while others point out its flaws as it being too risky and its unpredictability. No one knows how long this is going to last. What do you guys think? Is reselling clothes a practical move or pure nonsense? Comment in the section below and be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our social media accounts. I'm Peter Chore, and thank you for watching.